Hi guys, about to head to the gym. We are getting back on track. This is my first workout in t probably three weeks because I think I took a week off before going on this trip to LA. So it's been three weeks since I've been to the gym. Honestly, I really, I really don't want to go. Like I still feel very drained, dehydrated, exhausted from this trip, but I feel like I just, you know, even if I'm going like do lighter weight, take it slow, it'll get me back in that routine because right now like I could probably go several more weeks without, you know, working out, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to push myself and luckily I have a Celsius to help push me because this just gives me the energy I need to get my booty to the gym. And I want to film for you guys because I feel like I haven't posted a workout in a while and yeah. But this workout is going to be special. It's going to be different. I've done workouts like this on my TikTok and Instagram, but never my YouTube because I didn't have this camera, the Canon G7X Mark II, does not let me plug in a mic. But this one, I believe, does. If not, then this part, I feel like it does. I definitely feel like I can plug in my mic to this one. This is the Canon G5X Mark II, I believe. I'm gonna chit chat with you guys through the whole thing, make it more fun. Um, I'm hoping the gym will not be crowded. I'm not gonna go to the one I normally go to because I know that one will and I'll just be way too shy. Like, that will make me the ultimate muscle mommy. Sorry, that's the goal. But yeah, I'm gonna drink this Celsius. This is the Oasis Vibe, the sparkling prickly pear lime edition. I Arctic Vibe and Strawberry Lemonade are still on my top. I'm gonna drink this and then it's gonna amp me up. We're gonna get through this full body workout. But I haven't worked out in three weeks, I'm a little nervous. <sighs> we gotta get back on track. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Okay, so some bad news. I filmed this whole workout with my mic thinking that it had connected to my camera. It indeed had not. So this is not a mic'd up workout. This will be a voiceover. I I'm so sorry. I'm still kind of learning how to connect this microphone to an actual camera versus my phone. Also, there is an outfit change. Before I went, I spilled something all over my Blue Lazuli set. So now I'm just wearing the Burnt Rose, which is still super cute. That's just why I wanted to explain why I randomly am in a new outfit and why it's a voiceover not mic'd up like I had mentioned. <laughs> Look at me just talking away, talking to absolutely no one. Uh, little does she know. <laughs> so we're starting off using the landmine. I love the landmine. I feel like it's such an underrated piece of equipment in the gym. And mine's usually tucked away in a little corner, which I like, especially if I'm having some gym anxiety. So we're going to be starting with landmine thrusters so we're going to be squatting and then bringing the bar up over our head and then going into also a calf raise so since it's been a while since i've been in the gym i'm only going to do three sets and i'm going to be focusing on as many reps as possible so amrap really try to push yourself So I wanted to show you guys it from another angle as well, which you'll see next. So again, going down into a squat with the landmine, holding the bar to your chest. And then when you come up from the squat, you're bringing it above your head. And again, going into a calf raise. Next, we're gonna be doing rotational landmine thrusters each arm. So I like to stand to the side of the landmine and you start kind of like at a dead lift stance and then you're coming up and again rotating. I like to use both hands but you can switch hands if you want to make it a little more tricky and the key is to kind of like speed through the movement but again if you're getting used to it definitely go slow. Again, doing three sets of these, as many reps as possible, AMRAP, or if you want a number, you can stick between the 8 to 12 rep range. Okay, so next is going to be with the barbell. 
Um, you can also do these with dumbbells if you want. I just really like the barbell. Also, me talking about how much I love my paper towels. <laughs> Anywho, so we're going to be doing barbell RDLs and then going into bent over rows. So you can either do an RDL and then immediately go into the bent over row or you can do an RDL, come up and then come back down and then do your bent over row then. Either works. And at this point of the mic'd up workout, I was talking about cues. So for my RDLs, I like to imagine a rope pulling my hips back for the hip hinge. Or you can use this one where you imagine just using your glutes to shut a door. And for your bent over rows, I like to pull it to my belly button. <laughs> If you notice back pain in your RDLs, a tip that's really helped me is when I get to my knees, that's usually when I come up. If I go any further, that's when I feel like my back is doing all the work. So if you want your RDLs to be more glute biased, then I recommend having more bend at the knee. And if you want them to be more hamstring biased, have a straighter leg. Alright, next exercise is going to be lateral lunges into a bicep curl. I'm using a dumbbell. Use whatever weight feels comfortable for you. So we're going to be lunging to the side and then when we're in our lunge, we're going to do a bicep curl, come up and repeat. And we're going to do each side three sets, 10 to 12 reps. Last exercise, I normally do this one with a kettlebell, but I already had the dumbbell, so I figured why not use it? That way I didn't have to, I was feeling lazy. I didn't want to walk all the way over there to get the kettlebell, you know? So we're going to be doing dumbbell marches, and we do each side as many reps as possible. I'm going to do this for three sets just to kind of finish off the workout, do some core. So we're going to be raising each leg kind of like high kicks, but you want to really focus on your balance and you're keeping the dumbbell above your head 
arms straight up and then when you switch sides the dumbbell will be on your other hand guys Whew. that's all for this workout video let me know if you try the celsius what your thoughts are on the oasis vibe um again i feel like i'm still strawberry lemonade arctic vibe gal like those are my faves also let me know if you try that workout i'm i'm it was a lot more intense than like i did lighter weight because i had to do like upper body in the movements as well and let's be honest i can't go that heavy in my upper body but like it was intense for my first workout back, which was probably a mistake, but I will probably definitely be doing it again. Um, got my heart rate up. Yeah, if you do try it, let me know what your thoughts are on that workout. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on my other socials, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.